Hi folks, this is Andy, and welcome to my third step-by-step -step Blender tutorial. I'm going to actually get rid of the default cube here, and I'm going to make a smiley face that can change expressions here. Now, if you watched my last step-by-step -step tutorial, then you should understand the basics of sculpt mode and how it works. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, I'm just going to go ahead and um, add a really basic, basic object here, a plane. I'm going to rotate it on 90 degrees. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to tab into edit mode and subdivide it. I'm going to subdivide it uh, so the number of cuts are four. That's good, and then I'm going to face select so that I can give it some eyes. And a mouth. Then I'll add a subdivision surface modifier to round it out and make it look a little more like a face. see I'll go ahead and give it two subdivisions and we're gonna give this face some different expressions using shape keys so first of all I'm going to go over here to this little triangle that's object data and add a shape key in object mode it's, it'll call it basis I'm just gonna leave it called basis and now I'm gonna make this guy smile so I'm gonna name this key smile now I have to tab into edit mode I'm gonna press O to change to proportional editing mode that's down here you can click this too and I'm gonna select the face over here and grab it and I don't want to actually affect that wide of an area, so I'm going to press page down to shrink the area that's affected. You can also use the scroll wheel on your mouse if you have it. And I'll go ahead and turn up the sides using these faces here to make a nice little smile. I could even simulate a chin jutting out if I grab this one opened it out and then you'd see a nice big smile and then as you can see when I tab out of edit mode it goes back to this original face but as long as I have smile selected I can just change this value slider and now I've got a smile and this is really good for animations because if I wanted to close the mouth I'd just make another shape key click the plus name it close or whatever you want to name it I would just suggest it naming it something similar to what the the pose is gonna be and then I'll grab this and just kinda close the mouth hmm maybe I should have done all of these vertices at once here I'll just shift select these three and yeah that's a little more like it and then if I just change the value slider close I can close the mouth open the mouth and you can use these uh, you can use these keys together like I can close the mouth and then I could go over here and click smile and I could have sort of a closed mouth smile but you want to be careful that you don't use too many of them together or it can it can cause problems if you mix too many poses you'll end up with some interesting looking things so I'm going to add one more key and just make sort of an extreme 
make sort of an extreme eyebrow raise look here. Um, and as you can see, this is affecting the eyeball, and we don't want that, so I'll just shrink down the affected area once again and just sort of. And the actual problem it looks like I'm having here is that there is no, um, the face really is connected to the eye, so I'd actually have to control R to do a loop cut so that when I, so I actually sort of have a face for the eyebrow. Now it still affects it, but it doesn't affect it as much. If I page down a little bit, there. Now I've got more of an eyebrow that I can raise. So I'll just make it like, huh? And the same thing with this one, I'll put it down. Put that down a little bit. And then if I play with that, just sort of my own little eyebrow raise. And then of course if you combine these, you can make animations and lip sync and all kinds of things. So I hope you uh, learned a lot from this step-by-step -step tutorial, and I hope it inspires you to make your own animations. And I'll be back soon with another Blender tutorial. Until then, have a great day.